Yo guys, punk around another video. So it's been a couple months now since I've made a class specific propaganda piece. That was the series that I was making, covering the different classes and trying to sell you on whether or not you wanted to play that specific class. So this video series got pretty popular before the game released, but unfortunately, given the amount of time that I had back then, I didn't complete every single class. For the most part, it doesn't really make sense to continue the series, considering most people have already picked their classes. But for this one, it does. And that's because we're going to cater this class propaganda video towards PvP, which is really the only main focus right now, considering I'd say Molten Core is kind of getting a bit old for most people. Well, we're talking about the Shaman. You might have heard a million different times that Shamans are less OP than Paladins, Alliance has a distinct advantage in raiding and also in pre-mating over the Horde considering the Paladin toolkit. And while this may be the consensus in the community, Shamans are not bad by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, some would argue that they're broken. I've heard some top players even say that shamans are on the same level as mages. So in this video, I'm going to try to go over exactly why people have come to this conclusion and try to sell you on the class. So here we go. This video, shamans are busted. Let's get into it. So the main inspiration for this video is that I feel like people tend to view shamans within a little bit of a limited scope in vanilla. Now in the Burning Crusade, that completely changes and all three shaman specs are viable in all avenues of the game. But in vanilla, mainly from a PvE perspective, is that you go resto. And this is not necessarily wrong, in fact it's right. A very very limited amount of guilds will allow an elemental shaman or enhancement shaman to be part of their raid group. And generally when this is done, it's because they either really like that guy, it's a real life friend, it's an officer who just wants to do something off meta, or it's somebody who just provides a ton for the guild and they're going to give him a little bit of special treatment and allow him to do something that's not really viable to the best of his abilities. And honestly, sometimes it can kind of work out. Now, Enhancement Shamans are worse than Rep Paladins in PvE. They go out of mana in half a second, but you know what? They can still show up on the DPS meter. They'll do a fraction of the other class's damage, and in order to be viable, they're going to have to come every single raid extra prepared compared to the other classes. And that's kind of similar to the Rep Paladin, I guess. But for the most part, this is not something that you're going to see in a raid environment. Elemental Shamans, on the other hand, can actually be a middle of the pack DPS. The only issue with that is that they need the gear in order to do that, and for the most part, guilds aren't willing to give a mana igniting core to an Elemental Shaman instead of giving it to a mage. It just doesn't seem logical, and to be honest, it would probably start a ton of drama. So in a raid environment, you have to go resto. You bring a ton of utility and have some of the strongest AoE healing that there is. I don't think there's anybody better at keeping a melee group alive than a resto shaman chain healing them. Shamans may not be the highest throughput healers, but they're definitely something that a raid on horde side cannot go without. But like I said, this video is not about PvE. Where I'm going with this is that in PvP, it's a completely different story. Shamans go from mediocre to pretty much top tier. So firstly, the most known shaman style that you can run out there in PvP, and probably what you're seeing all over the place is, of course, the Enhancement Shaman. If you follow the CDL, the classic dueler league, then you probably noticed that shamans did alright, they didn't. They weren't necessarily the best 1v1 class, but they were pretty good and they have some really strong matchups. This is not necessarily indicative of their strength, however, because the shaman is not a 1v1 class, it's kind of like the warrior. In the CDL, warriors are probably the bottom of the pack, no, definitely the bottom of the pack, but in a pre-made scenario or in a group, when plugged into the right environment, warriors are again tier 1 just like the shaman. Enhancement shamans are the warrior's best friend, kind of similar to how the rep paladin and the warrior go so well together on the alliance side. They're cleave buddies, the front line charging in. What makes an enhancement shaman so useful is all the utility that it brings alongside it while also being a very viable, extremely powerful cleave class. Not only can they hold their own in the front line and absolutely obliterate anybody in their way, but they have some of the strongest support utility that there is in vanilla. They have Grounding Totem to absorb spell casts, potentially protecting the healer from Polymorph, Counterspell, they can eat up Hodges, pretty much everything that's a spell, even Hunter Traps. They have Tremor Totem, which they could preemptively use on a fear to get out or to get a teammate out who got feared. The Anti CC class, they have Poison Cleansing Totem, Wind Fury Totem to follow along with the Warrior giving him extra swings on his two hands. A ranged interrupt and earth shock, frost shock to slow, earth mind to slow in an area, and of course 
They can heal, either with spot heals, pulling around a corner healing themselves, healing a teammate. They have a ton of utility. Where a warrior just charges in and does damage, the shaman is playing multiple roles in one. And this applies to every single shaman spec. In fact, as an enhancement shaman, if somebody's running away, you could even chain lightning combo them for some pretty hefty numbers just off the base damage and have some ranged attacks to kill anyone from afar. But contrary to popular belief, the enhancement shaman is not even close to the best alternative that you can run in PvP. And I mean not even close. The absolute best shaman that you can run in a PvP scenario is surprisingly enough the elemental shaman. Now right now it may be slightly underwhelming just due to the lack of gear that shamans are able to either funnel into themselves in their guild environment or just the lack of items out there on the loot tables considering we only have one raid available. But later on, this statement is going to prove itself true. If you guys play it on any PvP private servers, and I don't mean PvP realms, I mean more of the little fun servers on the side where people were easily able to get access to best in slot gear, elemental shamans reigned supreme. When they were able to meet crazy crit thresholds, spell power thresholds, and get all of the items of their desires, they were known as the one-shot champions. With some of the quickest insane one-shot burst combos out there. The beauty about Chain Lightning is that it immediately hits the target, so if you're a mage and you shoot a Pompyro, the enemy has time to either spell reflect, vanish, bubble, ice block. The thing about a shaman is chain lightning hits immediately. It doesn't have a projectile cast speed. It just instantly does damage off of the cast with a shock on the back side of it. Not to mention it hits multiple targets for crazy numbers. And of course, not to mention that elemental shamans also have all of the other utility spells that we were naming earlier. They have a bigger mana pool so they can cast more heals and more spells in general, and they have more spell power which translates to increased healing potential as well. So they're basically sentry turrets with the ability to off heal. And on top of that, which I didn't mention earlier, but shamans have purge, meaning if a mage or a priest has a shield on them, they could strip it off and ensure that they're doing full damage to the target. Elemental shamans are probably the most well versed. And of course, you can also use Wind Fury on them, meaning if you get in melee range or if the target's just about to die, you can get nice Wind Fury combos with your one-hander onto the target just to finish up. Elemental Shamans are the best of all worlds. They're right in the middle. They have access to everything and do everything well. They're more versatile than any other spec dipping into all of the little nuances of the class at a relatively high level and then excelling in the spellcasting level and when you stack a couple of them together it gets extremely deadly if you guys remember from later expansions people multi-boxing multiple elemental shamans on top of each other and casting let's say five chain lightnings on one with shocks going off you could decimate massive groups of people especially if you line up your combo with a fire nova totem which will blast on top of everything else but if you truly want to be a healer rest Resto Shamans are again at the top of the PvP tier list, and the beauty about the Resto Shaman is it almost plays a little bit like an Elemental Shaman. I've said this multiple times, but where a Paladin is generally viewed as a defensive healer, spamming cleanse, bopping, giving freedoms, trying to stay far back because they're really susceptible to CC, the Resto Shaman is the complete opposite, where you're pushing forward all the time, not necessarily as backline, but maybe middle line, just right behind the frontline marauders. Shocking heals, maybe frost shocking, purging, maybe a fire nova totem, keeping wind fury up, chain lightning combos, and even nature swiftness chain lightning combos if you're feeling extra cheesy. Again, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but a very popular build out there for PvP Resto Shamans is a hybrid between Resto and Elemental, where when they go into premates, they have access to a bunch of offensive elemental talents while still maintaining the strength of being a backline healer. And this allows them to get away with also not necessarily having to respec for raids and just staying that PvP Elemental Resto hybrid spec to be viable in both avenues of gameplay. Shamans were meant for PvP and a lot of people on Horde side who play shamans tend to be the type of player that leans toward player versus player combat. It's always an aggressive PvP player behind the keyboard. And if you look at some of the combos and the tactile feeling that you get from letting them off, it feels like you have power at your fingertips. And this is definitely true. So the point of this video is if you want to re-roll a shaman, if you're leveling a shaman alt, if you are a shaman, what spec to go or how you want to approach PvP, hopefully this helps you. But the other point of the video is 
don't underestimate shamans. I see this very, very often where people think elemental shamans suck, enhancement, resto, not understanding the offensive capability of a resto shaman as well, where a paladin will just auto attack you and judge you and basically can't do anything. A shaman can put you in the dirt, even if he's resto. I've been on a bit of a crusade over the last couple months, trying to convince people of the power of the elemental shaman specifically, where it's not necessarily visible right now within the meta of the game. It's definitely on its way, and I promise you guys, eventually, there's going to be some deadly elemental shamans out there that you're <laughs> gonna probably be a little bit scared of. So that's pretty much the video. The Shaman PvP class propaganda piece. If you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see more propaganda videos for all the different classes for a PvP environment, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section. Leave a like, of course, you know that that gives me a great understanding of where to prioritize my focus for the next video. Hit the subscribe button as well to join the Rat Pack, you know the Jill Soldiers. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video straight out of the render oven. And with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.